you know and I know and everybody else knows that I'm married and I have only one wife Mwanda zake rais wa tatu wa Jamhuri ya Kenya mzee Mwai Kibaki alitambulikana na kusifiwa na wengi kwa kujitolea kwake katika kuukuza uchumi wa Jamhuri ya Kenya ila kawaida tunaambiwa sio kila kingacho ni dhaabu katika propaganda zilizoenea sana enzi zake mzee Kibaki ni zile zilizomhusisha na kuwa na mke wa pili kando na mkewe wa kwanza Hayati Bitaifa Lucy Kibaki Taarifa za Kibaki kuwa na mke wa pili zilimsukuma Lucy kumsisitiza Kibaki kuita kikao na wanahabari na kunyosha taarifa zile na kudai kuwa yeye alikuwa tu na bibi mmoja ambaye alikuwa ni Lucy Kibaki Ilikuwa ni mwezi Machi mwaka elfu mbili na tisa. March 2009 Kibaki alipoita kikao na wanahabari na kutoa taarifa hizi nikimnuku You know and I know and everybody else knows that I, I have only one dear wife Lucy here but the media keeps repeating about me having another wife or wise a livid kibaki said hayo ndio yalikuwa matamshi ya mzee kibaki yakisafisha hali yanga kulingana na fununu na propaganda kuhusu yeye kuwa na mke wa pili lakini swali kubwa ni nje ni nani huyu ambaye alikuwa akihusishwa na kibaki kama mpango wake wa kando au mkewe wa pili Tukije kambi katika kisa chote kizima ni kufafanulie. Jina lake lilikuwa ni Mary Wamboi Kibaki. Kulingana na familia yake, Mary Wamboi Kibaki pamoja na mzee Kibaki walichumbiana mwaka 1972, 1972 katika harusi ya kitamaduni iliyozingatia mila na desturi za Wakikuyu. Mary inaaminika pamoja na Kibaki waliendelea na uhusiano wao. Ila kitumbua kikaja kuingia mchanga wakati Lucy Kibaki alipoingia baina yake na mzee Kibaki. Mary Wamboi Kibaki mwenyewe ndiye nani? Mary Wamboi Kibaki Alipata kumridhi mzee Kibaki kama mbunge wa eneo bunge la Odhaya mwaka 2013 mpaka 2017 from 2013 to 2017 hii ni baada ya Kibaki kustaafu kama rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya mwaka 2013 baada ya kuongoza nchi ya Kenya kwa kipindi cha miaka kumi. taarifa za Kibaki na Wamboi ziligonga vyombo vya habari mwaka 2004 ambapo magazeti yalitangaza kuwa Kibaki alikuwa na mke wa pili wa Mboi pamoja alikuwa na mke wa pili wa Mboi Mary wa Mboi na ambaye pamoja walijaliwa kupata mtoto mmoja wa kike aliyetambulikana kama Wangoi Kibaki Wangoi Kibaki ama Wangoi Mwai ila Kibaki alizipinga vikali sana taarifa zile lakini kawaida tunaambiwa Lisemwa lipo na kama alipo lijiani laja lisubiri. Kulingana na maojiano na Wamboi miaka chache baadaye, alikiri kuwa yeye alikuwa ni mama ya watoto watano na kifungua mimba wake wa kwanza alikuwa ni Wangoi Kibaki, binti ya mzee Mwai Kibaki. Kumbuka kisa kilitokea kuhusiana na Wangoi Kibaki kuweza kuchumbiana na moja kati ya matapeli waliowahi tajwa sana katika jamhuri ya Kenya the Armenian brothers Atur Magarian alisemekana kuwa alikuwa katika uhusiano wa kimapenzi na mwanawe mzee Mwai Kibaki Wangoi Kibaki Now katika maujiano yake Mary Wamboi na gazeti la Standard alikuwa naye ya kuyasema kuhusiana na uhusiano wake na mzee Mwai Kibaki Nitamnuku 
I met Kibaki a long time ago in Nanyuki through his cousin who lived there. Also our paths crossed because I was a teacher and I would accompany the children to perform for the big wings during functions. Kibaki was a government minister then. Akasema, Wamboy. Kulizwa kusiana na impressions za Kibaki kwa kialisema hivi. He was an okay guy. He was doing things to help people. He paid school fees for many students that impressed him. I like someone who can help strangers. Akasisitiza Mary Wamboy. Nasema, Hai and Kibaki became friends. And this is how our relationship evolved. You know how these things go, she said. Probably noting that the blank expressions on my face, she continued. Aya, nanuku kutokana na maujiano yake na gazeti la The Standard. Anasema things happen and Biden, but I won't delve into it. That is a story for another day. She has a set of expression about her matter with Ze Mwai Kibaki. And if the media made up the story about her marital status, she says, no, that is true. She is married now. Kusiana na ye ya kuwa katika mausiano mengine kando na yale ya mze Kibaki, alidhibitisha na kudai ya kwamba alioleka baada ya Kibaki na ye ya kupata kutengana. Na haya ndiyo aliasema, I am married. And that is all I will say about that. There are two things in this life. Your private life and public life. They are different. I do not want to talk about my private life. But I know I am married. Simple and clear. Now, she continues. Why would I think about what people are going to say about it after me confessing my relationship with the president? I have confidence in myself and God. He is my witness. I mind my business. Iki ndicho kisa cha usiano wa mzee Kibaki na Mary Wamboy. Na Mary ajawai jutia hata siku moja. Kuhusishwa wala kusemekana yeye alikuwa katika usiano. Na mwanda zake hayati mzee mwai Kibaki. Kumbuka mwai Kibaki. Alipata kuyaga dunia mwaka elfu mbili, shuna mbili, mwezi aprili. Na katika mazishi yake, aliudhuria Mary Wamboi pamoja na mwanawe, Wangoi Mwai. Ila katika kusomwa kwa shajara yake kibaki, awa kutajwa wa wiliawa kama familia ya karibu ya mzee kibaki. Maana kibaki pamoja na familia yake kiongozo na bilusi kibaki. Walikuwa wamekataa kabisa kuhusishwa kwa kibaki na bibi yake wapili ama mpango wake wa kando Mary Wamboi Kibaki ila kitenda wili ambacho kimeishi kusalia katika vichwa vya wengi na katika midomo ya wengi kuhusiana na uhusiano wa kando aliyosemekana kibaki kuwa nao alipata kukijibu kwa uwazi Mary Wamboi na kudai ya kwamba mimi na kibaki tulikuwa katika uhusiano lakini yote yale yalipita na pamoja tulijaliwa kumpata binti mmoja ambaye Mwenyezi Mungu alitujalia jina lake likiwa ni Wangoi Kibaki hii ni paruanja ya the drums of history nikikuletea mimi FK Mwenda hapa ndani ya FM Show KE na kwa rifu, upate kusubscribe maana story na visa vingi kama hivi Vipo jiani vina kujia. Tutakuwa tukikufumbulia tuki mengi kulingana na historia na maisha ya, ya, ya wanasiasa katika jamori ya Kenya. Tungane katika video zetu zijazo.